What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's my fan time, and I got my... This is the pre-Black Friday haul video. Because as we know, Black Friday is actually two weeks from today. Today is Friday the 13th. Ooh. So I thought it would be appropriate to wear a hockey jersey. You know, with with uh, Friday the 13th being, being Jason Day. <laughs> I just need the... Uh, I just need the hockey mask. I probably should have like started the video with the hockey mask, although I do have I do have this uh, this hat. Still got the tag on it, otherwise I wear it for this. I got the Jason hat there, so there you go. There's a little Friday Friday thirteenth for you. <laughs> hey, please really to put it so you can see it. But... It's there, so <laughs> anyhow. Um, but yeah, Wayne Gretzky, L.A. Kings jersey on. But um, anyhow, lots of pickups. Again, really, the month of November, quite like October, was a month of opportunity, and eBay and Fanatics and my uh, my buddy Big Slim and a uh, an event last night at the Mitchell Nest store. Some of you probably saw it. On the, uh, on the on the groups there, there were pictures, uh, and also on my Facebook page, just posted the pictures a little earlier, it was at a five-year anniversary uh, party, big party, that Mitchell and Ness was having last night at the store, the flagship store, of course, in Philly, had a great time, was there with Big Slim and Peter Tom Willis, of course, you know them from the Facebook groups, Big Jersey Heads. Um... You know, it was one of those evite only events. If you got the email, you know, you can you can part and, and RSVP to it. You can partake in it. So we went down there, and uh, you know, it was it was awesome. It was a great time. They had a live DJ. They had food. They had drinks. They had, you know, just it, Mitchell and Ness was basically like a club for a night. You know, <laughs> um, all sorts of stuff going on. Fabulous was there. Um, uh, D DJ Drama was there, um, just, you know, lots of stuff going on, but they also had a 50% off deal at the sale, if you were in the sale, you can partake in the 50% off, so I picked up a few things as part of the sale, you're seeing some of it here, um, yeah, so it was like a kind of pre-Black Friday, Black Friday, <laughs> well, Black Thursday, I should say, because it was Thursday night, uh, but of course, two weeks from today is Black Friday, and as always, I'm going to be, you know, back at the store probably on Black Friday, looking around, seeing what's what. Don't know exactly what I'll pick up, but at least you know I'm going to be there. But I'll have my Black Friday pickups vid for you, either the weekend of Thanksgiving and Black Friday, or a little later. It just depends, because um, you never know. Online there might be some stuff, you know, be able to partake in. And once I get some stuff in, if I get anything, you know. I want to film it once I actually have it in hand, so at some point that will take place. But let's get right into it, because again, this is a lot of stuff. This is the pre-Black Friday uh, pickups vid, and then of course there'll be the post-Black Friday pickup vids, uh, pick pickup vid I should say, um, pickups vid. Um, yeah, I was up kind of late last night, so I'm a bit tired, but uh, <laughs> um, so let's get right into it. So this this was a eBay pickup. This first item I want to show. This is an eBay pickup, and I've wanted this for a while. Of course, my Sixers still can't win a game so far this season, but this was a pretty good player back in the day. Um, Billy Cunningham, the Kangaroo Kid. Of course, he um, was a great player, and he was also a great coach. Coached the Sixers to the '83 championship which is, of course, their last championship to date. But uh, this is the, the cool thing about this jersey. It's an older run, Mitchell and Ness. And, you know, um, I just, you know, I just love that, 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 that scripted 76ers on the front of it. It's just really classic. And the, and the thing that bugs me, though, is there was a hat on eBay. And I had it on my watch list. And it was one of those, it was like an older New Era hat, and it was, it had the same exact Sixers font on the front of it. It was like a white and red, I, I forget if it was like blue, I think. It was like one of those kind of pinwheel looking, you know, design hats from like the mid-2000s. And, uh, <laughs> um, early mid-2000s, I should say. 
Same exact 76ers font on the front of the hat. The front of the, the, the front of the hat was white and it had this 76 and I I didn't go after it. Because I just I you know, this is a rare jersey, you don't see it too often. I'm like, well, you know, I just I didn't jump on it quick enough, it sold, and of course here we are a couple weeks later I get the jersey. So it's like, you know <laughs> and I'm such a stickler for the jersey hat combo, so I I probably should have grabbed that hat, you know, because you just never know sometimes, but yeah, it is what it is. But Billy Cunningham, everything's double stitched. Um, it's got nice, you know, kind of side panels going down too, the red and blue. Um, Cunningham, single stitch, no nameplate. Big 32, double stitched on the back. Older jock right there. Um, really nice. Love the feel of it. It's, it's just a comfortable jersey, you know, old school. Uh, circa the 1970 71 season. So another Sixers jersey to the collection. Um, I don't have anywhere to put these. <laughs> Usually I film from the... Vi this is actually kind of a throwback Friday. I know there's thir throwback Thursday, but this is like throwback Friday. Because this, this is the room I used to film all the videos in. Or a bulk of them. You guys remember from back in the day. Um, okay, I'm just going to put it over here. <laughs> Trying to figure out where to put this. Um, okay. So... All right, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just get through these. So, uh, so these are from the sale last night. The other cool thing about the sale, got to kind of hop, kind of hobnob with some of the you know Mitchell and Ness, you know, um, uh, royalty. Got to talk to, had a good conversation with my buddies, you know, Big Slim and D. We had a good conversation with uh, Peter Campolio, who of course was the, um, the owner, uh, CEO. Of Mitchell and Ness, and, and we also got to talk to the current owner CEO of Mitchell and Ness, and he was really, you know, they were both, you know, as well as some other people um, who were involved with the company back in the day, um, including one of the women who used, one, one of the women, I should say, who was one of one of the people who used to work on the jerseys, you know, make the jerseys. So that was pretty cool. Um, but they were really, you know, happy to see us wearing the old school Mitchell and Ness stuff. You know, we. Uh, each of us were wearing an older jersey. You know, I had my uh, Daryl Dawkins Sixers. Big Slim had his uh, Pro Bowl Randall Cunningham. And uh, Peter Tom Willis had his 94 Jerome Bettis throwback Rams. And, you know, they, they appreciated that. <laughs> They're like, you know, you guys are, you know, really, you know, we can tell you're really, you know, enthusiastic and, you know, appreciating of, of the company and the brand. And and it is. I mean, we, we have a great love of it. As you, the rest of jersey has no... And, you know, when you go to a function like that and you're able to talk to some of the people who were, you know, really involved with the company and really involved with making these jerseys and, you know, the future of the company, um, you know, it was really cool, you know, just to have a few moments with them and talk to them and even got to get a little sneak peek at some stuff coming out. I'm really excited about some of it, too. I don't want to give it away. This should be a surprise. <laughs> um, but we got to, we got to. We got to get a little sneak peek on the smartphone about some of the stuff they got in the works. Really exciting stuff. Um, but uh, um, Jordan's certainly a part of it, and uh, Gretzky's a part of it too. So really looking forward to it. Uh, but anyhow, you know, it was just it was just a great thing. It was great to hear from some people who were within the company. You know, really, of course, the highest up in the companies, the owners and the CEO. You know, to tell us how much they appreciate. You know what we do and. And, you know, the collecting and the, the enthusiasm we have for it. You know, I was showing, we were talking about our collections. I was showing some pictures on my phone of the collection, and they were just blown away. <laughs> oh, um, you know, it, it was. It, it, it was it was really neat to be a part of that. It was neat to, you know, kind of have that, you know, moment there. You know, kind of, you know, talk and shop, as it were, about jerseys and, and you know, the, the love of it and the passion that we have for collecting and, and what it means and, yeah, yeah. I mean, talk about the older Mitchell and Ness runs and everything. So it was a lot of fun. So I thank them. I thank Zade. I thank Dex. I thank all you know the people at Mitchell and Ness at the flagship store. You know, um, it was just an awesome night. And, and thank you again so much. So let's get into some of the pickups from last night. Again, it was fifty percent off, so I got a couple things. Um, this this first one I've actually had my eyes on since that they released it, um, and. So let's get right into it. So, um, actually, all three of these I had my eyes on since they released it. Um, got the New York Knicks away, Larry Johnson. 
normally you see his Hornets jersey, but wanted to get his Knicks jersey, you know, because you don't see the Knicks one as much as you see the Hornets. And this is the finals year too, so it's the 1990, uh, this is the 98-99 jersey, though it doesn't have the uh, finals patch like they put on Tim Duncan and David Robinson, but it does have the uh, like memorial band going across there, and I know they made uh, LJ, they made Spreewell, and they made Patrick Ewing in this. And I kind of forget why they wore that that um, memorial band there. So I think it was for a Knicks like executive or something like that. Because I, I know the other teams. I don't think the other teams were wearing a uh, memorial band that year. So there you go. Really like this jersey. I think it's really sharp pops. It's got the double stitch New York, double stitch two, um, the trim, and of course the side panels from the era that the Knicks had that back then. And, uh, yeah, really nice jersey right there. The uh, Johnson is single stitch, no name plate, two double stitch. And there's the jock tag. Definitely would recommend this. Uh, really a sharp jersey. Like I said, don't see too many Larry Johnson Knicks jerseys. So, you know, at some point, I, you know, I got to get his Hornets, you know, to pair them up. So, you know, but I got the Knicks one. Because I figured the Hornets one is a little easier to get. So I'll just grab the next one. And I also got some hats. Um, I kind of want to run through these too. Because um, I'm pretty excited about these. Uh, this is Toronto Raptors. Now these came out uh, earlier in the year, this style. And it's, it is to go with the jersey. So there you see it's like the front of the jersey right there. And it's got the kind of, it's like the front of the jersey. And it looks like kind of the pattern on the shorts on the sides. So that's pretty cool, and they're snapbacks. And you can find these at like different places. Oh, the Ra the Raptors one's pretty difficult to find, so I picked up that one. And I got the Hornets to go with uh, with my uh, my white LJ Hornets. Well, I, just, I have an LJ Hornets, it's the white one. At some point, I want to get the teal one too. But I got LJ Hornets in white, and I've got now his Knicks jersey. So there you go. Although if I were to pick, um, if I were able to find uh, and get one in my size, I'd kind of like to get the uh, old, the uh, the um, the champion authentic Larry Johnson in the purple, the alternate purple Hornets that they used to wear back in the day. Because I mean, if I had my 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 pick of the purple or the teal LJ, because I have the white one for the Hornets, I would definitely take the purple one just because I mean the alternate it just. To me, that one really pops, too. The teal one does, too, but I have the teal one in Alonzo Morning, so, you know, just for that variety, you know, <laughs> to have a different color. So I would I would definitely get, like, a Larry Johnson uh, purple alternate champion at some point, but we'll see. This is one that they just started releasing about maybe a month ago, I'd say. Um, Gold State Warriors, of course, the champs. Uh, these are the NBA at 50 hats. So these are the 50th Annie hats. And they made them for a lot of teams. And I have that Latrell Sprewell from the 96-97 season. Mitchell and Ness hold hard to get. I have that one, so I got this hat to go with it because it's the 50th, so it has the gold NBA logo. And there you see the 50 logo. Now, they made these these hats. Again, these are snapbacks. They made them, and they made fitteds too. And they made them for just about all the teams. So you want to check them out, you can find them on MitchellNest.com. You can find them on Lids.com, Fanatics, different places. Really cool. I have this one, and I have the Sixers somewhere in here. Oh, there it is over here. And this is a uh, this is a fitted. I picked this one up at Lids. So that goes with Iverson, rookie Iverson. So that's a fitted, and then there's a the snap. You can see they, they all have that same logo on the side. Really nice. I love these. I'm going to probably pick up a few more of these because I have quite a few of the NBA 50th jerseys and they go perfectly with them. So whether it's the fitted or the uh, or the or the snap. All right. And no, we're not going to fall. <laughs> uh, got to maneuver these a little bit. Okay. Oh, I also want to show this one. This this I got a couple days ago, Sixers hat. This is this is a style that they, they had, I think, last year, and they made it again this year. But the thing that I did from Lids, because Lids, you can customize the hats. There it is. You know what time it is. <laughs> so this is the hat I wore last night at the function. So um, 
Yeah, there you go. Little self, little self pub right there. <laughs> so, all right, moving right along. Let's see how I'm, how am I doing on time? Don't want to bore you guys to death, man. Already 15 minutes. Time flies. Okay, I'm gonna get through these. I promise. Last but not least, from the sale last night and party, I should say, party sale. Well, this is actually two of three, so. Oh yeah, you know, here's my guys, the Eagles. This is a, this is just a sweet jersey. This is the 1996. This is a rookie year, Brian Dawkins, future Hall of Famer, for his safeties, uh, as a safety, and he was in his great career with the Eagles and finished it off with the Broncos. But one of the all-time great Eagles right here, um, Brian Dawkins at the University of Clemson. Clemson number one in the country right now. Um, and here's the B Doc rookie jersey. So it's got the Eagles kind of double stitch there. That's the that's kind of the older way when they when they first started putting out these jerseys. This is this is how the Eagles name was on the on the front. Of course now it's got like more of the kind of mini arced Eagles, but before it was kind of like kind of had that little design there. That's the that's the original design for those these jerseys for these uh, midnight green jerseys. It's got the double stitch 20. You'll notice it's double stitched. It's not triple stitched. The Eagles jerseys today are triple stitched with like the silver going around too. But back then they only had the white and black. The silver came in a little later. For the tassel twill. <laughs> the uh, 20s on the shoulders are also single or double stitched with that white and black. And it's got the Eagles logo on the sides. With Dazzle Twill Silver in there. <laughs> so there you go. On both sides, of course. And you notice there's no uh, black around the cuff as they were now. It's just a solid green, as the jersey was back then. During B-Doc's rookie year. Oops. Be much easier if I had these on hangers, but I don't right now. Bear with me. Uh, Dawkins double stitched onto a nameplate and the 20 double stitched. As soon as I saw they made this jersey, I had to get it. Um, you know, he's one of my all-time favorite Eagles, and to get his rookie jersey, I mean, I had to do it, so there you go. Jock tag right there, 1996. Brian Dawkins, Weapon X, one of the all-time greats right there. There you go. So I'll definitely be giving these pl this plenty of wares on Sundays. Or or Thursday nights or Saturday nights or whenever the Eagles play. Monday nights. Um, this week, of course, is Sunday afternoon against uh, Miami. Big win for my birds, of course, last Sunday night against Dallas. Let's keep it going, guys. All right, so the third and final jersey from the sale is another one. Once I saw they made this, I had to grab it because this is really a sweet jersey. Um, 1990 Ricky Henderson, Oakland A's. Jersey, this is the World Series jersey. Of course, they lost that year to the Reds, but just you know, all all over a really nice jersey. You got the American flag patch on there. The Reds wore it too. Um, I have an Eric Davis one, old school, uh, older run, I should say. Eric Davis, Cincinnati Reds, 1990, with the patch too, and they wore that patch for the Gulf War that year that was being fought overseas. Um, so they have the American flag patch on there. Got the Athletics. And the 24 double stitched on the front. It's a triple patch jersey, so it's got the flag, it's got the 1990 World Series logo, and it's got the Oakland A's uh, elephant logo, elephant on the ball logo, which dates back to the Philadelphia Athletics days. So there you go. Uh, it's a button down, of course. It's got Henderson single stitched on a nameplate, and the 24 is double stitched on the back. Awesome jersey. I really like it. Uh, yes, you can probably get these customized to some some places, but you know I had to grab it once. I, once I knew they made this, like they they put these out, I think in the spring this past year, and I just I had to get it. <laughs> it's like definitely one of the ones on my hit list. So yeah, 1990 Ricky Henderson, great base stealer that he was back in the day, the thief on the base paths, great great player, Hall of Fame player, and there you go. That's his uh, 1990. World Series jersey by Mitchell Ness. Okay. 
So this next batch here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to, to move th through these as quick as I can. But this next batch here is from my buddy Big Slim. Got these from him. So shout out to him. Now this is the same jersey like he was wearing last night, although he was wearing it at Cunningham. So number 12 on there. This one is number 20. Of course, you just saw it. Barry Sanders. Pro Bowl jersey. This is the uh, 1990 Pro Bowl National Conference jersey. Of course, Barry Sanders, great running back. My all-time favorite running back, Barry Sanders. Grew up watching him. Um, really love this jersey. Everything is heat pressed right is is pressed I should say right onto the jersey. Got the national twenty on the front. Got Sanders twenty on the back. Again pressed right on. Nothing is stitched besides the patch with the logo from that Pro Bowl in Hawaii, of course, back in 1990. It's on both sides. And there's the older jock tag right down there, 1990. Barry Sanders, National Conference Pro Bowl jersey. I know they made Randall Cunningham. Randall's probably the hardest to find out of these. And of course they made the Jerry Rice, that number 81 Jerry Rice. And I think they may have made a Deion Sanders back then too, but I don't quite remember. I know for sure they made Barry Randall and Jerry. But, uh, Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Lenny Wilkins, Seattle Supersonics. The home white. I think the first person I ever saw with this was... Um, was um, first person I ever saw with this as I try to hold it up. <laughs> um, the first person I ever saw with this, of course, was A-Rock. And I remember A-Rock made one of his videos with, you know, out in location or whatever. And I think he was wearing this. And it was like, he was like, he was somewhere, I forget exactly where he was, but he was wearing this in the video. And he was showing it off, you know, talking about it. And he had the jacket and the, and the hat. It was the first person I ever saw with this. And I just loved it. Like, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, ooh, that's nice. And since then, I've seen other jersey heads with it. And, of course, Big Slim got from him. So, big shout out to him. So, Sonics is double-stitched on the front. 19. It's an older run Mitchell and Ness. Um, this one is made in USA. It's an old USA run. And it's got just such a nice feel to it. I mean, this is like old school quality Mitchell and Ness. And you all know, for those who know who, what old school quality Mitchell and Ness is, you guys know what this is. Really nice. The, 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 the um, you know, the cut of it's really nice and everything. It's just got that 19 on the back. No name, of course. That's how they wore it back then. Lenny Wilkins, great player, great coach, too. Uh, speaking of, you know, great player and coaches, Billy Cunningham and Lenny Wilkins. So there you go. Really like that jersey. Uh, by the way, that is from the, uh, I want to say that's from their, their, their uh, championship season. That is from the 1967-68 season. Uh, okay, continue with the NBA. The Iceman. I was so glad to get these because you see so many fakes of these on eBay. The, these are faked all the time, it seems. So, George Gervin. This is a legit Mitchell and Ness, though. George Gervin, the Iceman, of course. San Antonio Spurs. Love it. It's got what I call the ghost lettering on there. San Antonio 44. Gervin 44 on the back. Just old school classic. You know, one of the old time classic NBA jerseys, in my opinion. Actually, this is back in the ABA days, but then the NBA they would later become. 1979-1980. Uh, so, yes, this is the NBA days. <laughs> uh, this is a, a Made in USA run. Really nice. See the old jack tag right there. San Antonio Spurs, the Iceman. Anybody can dunk, but not anybody can finger roll. George Gerber. <laughs> uh, okay. Player's so nice, got to show him twice, right? George Gervin, here he is again. This is another Spurs jersey. This is the silver Spurs jersey. Really nice. Love this. Spurs, 44, double-stitched. Gervin, 44, double-stitched. Of course, the Iceman right there. Um, this one is from the 1974-75 season. This is the ABA days. 
Okay, so this is when they were in the ABA, so back then. San Antonio Spurs. And last but not least, as far as NBA jerseys from Big Slim, a lot of jersey heads have this one, and now I do too. You might remember I have this Bulls jersey too, picked up some time ago, but this is the Sacramento Kings Reggie Theus, a.k.a. the coach from Hangtime. His jersey right here, uh, Kings double-stitched, got the NBA logo, huge 24 on the front, double-stitched as the Kings wore it back in the day. They're actually wearing this jersey as a Hardwood Classics this season. 24 double-stitched, and the Theus is actually pressed on. That is not stitched. And that's how it should be. 1987-88 um, season right there. This is an older made in the USA as well. Quality is amazing. Love this jersey. I've seen this quite a few times in other people. And this is another one that gets faked a lot. So I'm always like weary to get it on, on eBay because it's, it's faked all the time. So glad to get it from Big Slim where I know it's legit. Okay. <laughs> Keep right on going here. Um, let's see. Hmm. Okay. I'm really gonna try to race through these, and I apologize about that, but I don't want the I don't I don't want people falling asleep watching this. So this is the 1989 Jerry Rice, last but not least from Big Slim. 1989 Jerry Rice Mitchell and Ness. Somewhat hard to find. You don't see this very often. Um, the difference with this jersey and the other 89s that they did, it's got the yoke sleeves going right there so <laughs> so that's the 89 Jerry Rice this is the home jersey everything single stitched of course besides for the stripes on the sleeves they are actually pressed onto the jersey and there, there you see a good look at that yoke sleeve going on right there that's a receiver sleeve <laughs> his cousin had the game winning touchdown against Dallas this weekend this past weekend and uh, Jordan Matthews he looked like Jerry Rice on that play <laughs> <laughs> that was an old Jerry Rice play. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a Fanatics pickup. Speaking of champions, Jerry Rice and now Steph Curry. Now this is um, the newer Adidas Swingman jersey. Newer by, by like a year. They started putting these out last year. This is a special Banner Night jersey that the Warriors wore when they got their championship rings and unfur un unfurled their latest championship banner they now have four two of of course coming from philadelphia and the other two coming in in the bay area and this is of course steph curry great player and obviously the warriors are off to another great start so they could have another banner before time all is said and done but this is the special banner night so you notice the gold trim going around yep that's the special banner night jersey it's also got the gold adidas logo right there and the larry o'brien trophy logo right there big and bold signaling the Warriors were the defending champions. They only wore this jersey for one night. This was the, the uh, champions night, the banner night, the ring night, whatever you want to call it. But there it is. Curry, the 30, also has that gold trim going around. Really sharp. When I saw these online, I had to get them because, you know, you know, the Warriors are, are, are probably my, my favorite Western Conference team because they did used to be in Philadelphia I've always liked Steph Curry, so I had to get a Steph Curry jersey. And what better, what better first one to get than the Banner Knight jersey? <laughs> so there you go. Steph Curry looks like he could be a league MVP again this season, the way he's playing. And uh, move that one aside. So there you go. Okay. Two more to go. I know. We've, we've almost reached the end. And I see I've almost been on for a half hour, so I don't want this to go on much further. But this is a vintage Junior Seau. This was an eBay pickup. Junior Seau, uh, authentic, vintage jersey. Um, Russell Athletic, size 52. It's got the NFL shield on the front. Everything else, though, is pressed on. This is back when the Chargers were wearing their press jerseys. Of course, later on, they would have the stitch jerseys. But this is, of course, back. like It's kind of the Super Bowl era when they got blown out by the Niners. But they kind of wore the, this you know, the pressed jerseys at that time. Of course, the the 55s are pressed on as well, as well as the bolts. We all know about the Charger jerseys with the bolts, and there they are, pressed right on. Of course, rest in peace, Junior Seau. This is his Chargers jersey, authentic vintage Russell. So, there you go. Gotta love, gotta love vintage jerseys too. Really, really nice, cool jerseys. 
just that throwback feel to them too. Just all sorts of awesome. Last but not least, this is the last. You saw I got the home Jerry Rice in 1989. This was another eBay pickup. This is a pretty hard jersey to get, but I was able to pick this up. This is the whole, the, uh, the, 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 well, I should say it was the home version. This is the away. This is the away white 1989 Jerry Rice. It does not have the, oh, yes, it does. I'm sorry. I, I misspoke. It does have the oak sleeves. They gave this the Jerry Rice. Uh, the yoke sleeves. I think the other 89 Niners don't have these, though. If I'm if I'm mistaken, I apologize. But Jerry Rice does because <laughs> he's a receiver. <laughs> so everything, of course, single stitched. Really nice, really clean jersey right here. And of course, the stripes on there are pressed onto the material, but the the 80s and the name single stitched. Awesome, awesome, awesome jersey. Old jock tag right there, 1989 Jerry Rice, the GOAT, of course, for wide receivers, greatest of all time. Jerry Rice, whose cousin Jordan Matthews is on the Eagles. Yes, we've established that. But anyhow, that's going to do it for now. My goodness, that was a lot to show. I apologize about that, but I wanted to get these out of the way. And this video out of the way before Black Friday. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to get on Black Friday. I really don't know. I think last night at the party was kind of like a Black Friday event. But there might be some more. And, of course, if there is, you'll see them at the end of the month after Black Friday. Whoo! <laughs> wow, there was a lot to show. I'm glad I got through this. I'm glad I got through this. So, thanks, of course, to uh, my, my buddy Big Slim, you know, hooking me up again with some great jerseys. Thanks to Mitchell and Ness for that great event last night. And um, as always, a big shout out to all my subscribers out there, to my fellow Jersey heads, family, friends, fellow Deviant Art members, all the groups on Facebook, anyone I'm forgetting. As always, this is Mighty Fan saying peace, and I will see you in that next video, which will be the post Black Friday video, the pickups of Black Friday 2015. My goodness, it's almost 2016. Oh, where's the time go? Anyhow, I got to go, everyone. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.